well, as we, we were talking a little bit about first memories versus state when I came are two very different things and, and differ by about 20 years. Um, I've probably been walking around this campus for well over 50 years. Um, I remember coming down here with my father when I was about six, you know, and we'd go to his office and sort of, you know, we'd play, um, and he'd do his work on a Saturday or something like that. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, those are, that, that's an early memory. I remember riding in a car once with dad and uh, he was dropping off another executive at home and we were driving home and they had been talking about uh, Gordon's gin and vodka. And, uh, and they, what they were talking about was Brown Foreman trying to acquire Renfield. And uh, so driving home, I said to dad, um, are we gonna buy Gordon's gin and vodka? And dad paused and he said, you know, Mac, when, when you ask me a question like that, I either have to say yes or no. He goes, I don't want to lie to you. So I would ask that you never put a question to me that requires me to be so straightforward and, and so that I don't have to lie to you. Um, and that was his answer. <laughs> um, but he taught me a little bit about diplomacy um, as, as, as we were driving home, and I was probably all of 10 or 12 years old then. Um, the industry, I started, I started here as an intern in 1972, um, and, and really my, my first memories are, you know, I was a janitor that summer, sort of cleaning up after promotion meetings and things of that nature, and just so I remember a lot of the meetings, and, and you're a sponge. I mean, you just learn all, all about it. Um, I got through college and got out of college and grad school, and in 77, I started full time as a sales rep in New Jersey. And um, I mean, pretty much a gopher. You know, I went and got stuff, made sure salesmen had what they needed, and called on retail stores, and. And again, you're, you're learning the industry. Um, but what was sort of neat for me was there were a lot of salesmen who remembered my father when he lived in New Jersey back in the 50s. So that's 20 years earlier. And um, some of them who wouldn't normally work with uh, sales reps were willing to work with me because of my father and, they, and because they liked him. Um, and, and so I really got a, an introduction by a lot of pros um, over the years. And um, the industry, it was changing. Um, as you can imagine, in the 70s, I talked about the change in trend and, and taste. Um, so Canadian Mist was a big brand for us, um, and we are working hard to build that brand. Um, and then I eventually went down to San Antonio, Texas, um, and the uh, distributor there was Ed Block Sr., um, who was just a marvelous man. And he and Dad were, were good friends. Um, and at age 27, I remember sitting in his office and we were yelling at each other. Um, and imagine a 65-year-old man and a 27-year-old kid having this big argument. Um, and we, did, uh, we each did a gesture at each other and then broke out laughing. Um, and he became a tremendous friend and really probably did more to teach me about this industry than anybody I know um, because he allowed me information and allowed me to really study how his business worked so I could understand how Brown Foreman needed to be a good partner. Um, and it was, it was a great experience. So, um, I didn't see the clashes of, you know, the difficulty of the industry at that time because I was really at a market level. And yeah, I saw it in my market, but um, I wasn't thinking in terms of big picture. I was, I was really focused on individual market activities and, and how to compete and how to, um, how to make our brands and get our brands moving. So those in the very early years.